So this video is going to be about post-translational modifications and signaling mechanisms. So once a protein is made, the protein is going to begin to fold and form a 3D molecule with secondary and tertiary structures. So looking at this general protein right here, we have an amino terminal, so this is our N-terminus, and then we have our carboxyl terminal with this free carboxyl group, and the amino terminal with this free amino group. And so proteins are polar molecules, uh, and they have this polarity because the two ends of the protein are different from one another. And so, um, just some more general things about protein structure. These amino acids are connected by these peptide bonds, um, which we know from the video on translation. And then each amino acid has its own unique side chain um, that's going to contribute to the overall characteristics of this protein. So now looking at signaling mechanisms. So signaling... Um, can be a couple different things, but we're going to look at the one that signals for um, the protein to be brought to the endoplasmic reticulum. So what's going to happen is when this protein starts to get synthesized, we're going to have a sequence of about 20 amino acids close to the end terminus of this protein that's called the signal peptide that's going to signal for this entire complex to be brought to the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum. So what happens is we have this signal recognition particle right here that's going to recognize the signal peptide and bring the peptide as well as the entire ribosome and mRNA complex to this translocation complex on the membrane of the ER. So once this uh, gets to the ER membrane, the ribosome is going to dock with this translocation complex and the signal recognition particle is going to dissociate and the peptide will continue to get synthesized through this translocation complex and fed into the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. And as this happens, the signal peptide will be removed. Um, and then once the protein is finished being translated into the lumen of the ER, the ribosome and the mRNA will dissociate. Um, and then this protein can be processed further and then sent on to the Golgi body and sent to its final destination within the cell. I hope you found this video really helpful. All images, unless otherwise stated, are from Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You can schedule a free one-on-one 30-minute -on -one appointment, or you can drop in during uh, any of our normal business hours. For more details, visit www.baylor.edu tutoring.